And as Washington expands its drone strikes in Pakistan, the number, the number of civilians killed in the attacks keeps rising, and hundreds of people have died since 2004. And critics say the program only helps fuel the conflict, creating new militants rather than eliminating them. RT's Lauren Lister reports from Washington. The Jonas Brothers are here. The United States president. They're out there somewhere. Tells a joke. Sasha and Malia are huge fans. He winds up. But uh, boys don't get any ideas. For the punchline. I have two words for you. Predator drones. <laughs> you will never see it coming. You wonder if the people beneath this drone in Iraq, insurgents according to the U.S., ever saw it coming either. You think I'm joking? But no one thinks a Hellfire missile dropped from a remote control plane killing people is a joke, especially not for the one in three estimated to be civilians caught in the crossfire of drone strikes in Pakistan, for example. There, the CIA runs a covert program. The Obama administration says this. That U.S. targeting practices, including lethal operations conducted with the use of unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, comply with all applicable law, including the laws of war. But the United Nations now begs to differ, and for even longer, critics at home in the U.S. have disagreed. Well, we're here because uh, we believe that the CIA's uh, drone bombing program is illegal and immoral. And former top-ranking government officials believe the bombings violate international law, too. I think they do, yes. Why? Because you cross a border and you go into a country with whom you are not at war, under any definition known to man of war, and you start to kill people with military impl implements. This is, and, and with mili in some cases, at least, with military people pulling the trigger or pushing the button. It's hard to know the truth behind a program shrouded in secrecy, but publicly we keep hearing this about the mission of top U.S. commanders in the AFPAC region. General McChrystal is doing everything humanly possible to avoid uh, civilian casualties. While headlines seem to tell a different story, and while the U.S. reportedly expands drone attacks, they spread discontent on the ground beneath them. It doesn't stop terror. It increases terror. It increases um, vulnerability to innocent people there and innocent people here in America. And innocent people are asking, are these drones killing militants or creating them abroad and in the U.S.? What drives an American, for example, born in Pakistan to try to set off a bomb in Times Square? He supposedly came from the border areas of Pakistan. As President Obama would say. I have two words for you. Predator drones. Activists ask. Was a family member of his killed accidentally with one of these drone attacks? Or, or was a village that his family comes from, was it affected? You think I'm joking? What's no laughing matter are the numbers. Analysts believe between 900 and 1,400 people have been killed by drone attacks in Pakistan since 2004. Hundreds of those deaths have occurred this year, and hundreds are believed to be civilians. So while the president can joke, the question remains, do the consequences of the U.S. drone program mean the joke is on him? Lauren Lister, RT, Washington, D.C.